Um, yeah. This week is actually going by pretty fast. It's already, it's already Thursday. That's nice. Wait a minute. I just realized. Today is day 711. That's it. I gotta, I'm gonna try and get a Slurpee today. I think that's what I'll do. I'll try and get myself a Slurpee from 7-Eleven at some point today. Question is though, where, um, hmm. Actually, 7-Eleven is like all over the place. I'm sure I'll probably find one somewhere. Shouldn't be that difficult to do. So, now I know what I'm doing today. At some point, just gotta sort of find. Oh, actually, no, I don't know if I'll do it today. Even though today is day seven eleven, a Slurpee is the sort of thing I'd rather have, like, like on a Friday or Saturday. Kind of like when I have my readers. That reminds me, I haven't even touched any of the readers I saved for the winter yet. I still haven't. Nope. I mean, I gotta try and make it last. I mean, all of, all of, all of, I mean, the vast majority of November, which is already gone, all of December, I still have all of January and all of February. I really gotta try to make it last. Is I I don't know how long it will last. If I, well, I think my plan is at least for now. Maybe I wait until Christmas. I mean, again, it's only about two more weeks, and then it'll be like sixty days or whatever. So. Maybe have one thing every, like, three days or something. That might actually that'd be good, I think. Maybe. I don't know. I'll have to play this. I will have to legitimately play this by ear. But regardless of what I do, I'm sure that uh, I'll, uh, I'll probably figure it out. So, uh, good morning and happy Thursday, everybody. So, yeah, it is Thursday today. Um, I was actually uh, having a conversation with my friend yesterday where, um, she finally showed her son the movie Muppet Treasure Island. Now, I love that movie. I think in the span of a week one time, I probably saw that movie a dozen times. And, yeah. So, big fan of that movie. Like, seriously, I'm, I would memorize, like, what, what the, what the V8, yeah, the, this is a VHS tape, kids. It was, it came in a big, black, rectangular prism that could fit in a little compartment and you could watch a movie with it on TV. Yeah. That is how old I am, by the way. And I'm, and I'm not even 30 yet either. I'm not going to be turning 30 for just a little over two weeks from now. And <laughs> I actually am saying, like, that's how old I am. Yep. We're at that part in society, folks. Eh, I don't care if I'm getting old. Whew. Although I do care if I am getting a little tired in the morning. It's weird. I get, like, I'm... Seriously, I am convinced I got myself like eight hours of sleep last night. And by all accounts, I really ought to be feeling like pretty spry, I guess, but I don't. Well, I mean, sitting here, I mean, spry in the sense like I'm able to jump around and go all over the place in a wacky, insane kind of way. I mean... I can do this is fine, but by all accounts, really, I'm just doing is sitting down, talking into a camera, and that's really all I need to do. A camera in which I, I mean, I cannot see all of you, but you can see me after I choose to upload. So, really, whether or not this even gets on the internet is all about what I decide to do with this video information, if you will. Yeah, who am I kidding? I, I'm just trying to like overthink things. So anyway, I was saying that, you know, my friend showed her son, uh, Muppet Treasure Island, and I'm, and I tell her, I am immediately 
fighting the urge to just flat out quote that movie. And then this is this is where she's now pondering if this was a good idea. She said, Nick, don't fight it. And then I'm like, in that case, the man is a raging volcano, tormented by inner demons the of which no mere mortals can fathom. <laughs> He's got demons? Cool. Okay. Seriously, I can quote that. Like, seriously, I can make an entire video where I can probably quote that entire movie. That would be entertaining, but it'd probably be very boring. I mean, how do I even know the dance choreography for all the songs? I mean, I know all the songs. I, you know, I sing them. You know, but, you know, I don't know. I had to do the choreography for some of them. I mean, yeah. I love that movie. I love that movie so much. That does remind me, though. Um, my father actually loves that movie. And there's this one song in the movie called uh, When You're a Professional Pirate. And, uh, you know, during that song, some of the bad guys are, like, sort of quoting other movies. And then one of them shows up in uh, one... Of, actually, there's this one, like, um, like, sort of background character throughout the movie where he's basically, like, a bald guy. But, like, you see him... No, his name is Black Eyed P. That, 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 that's what his name is. At least, what the, at least that's what they call him in the roll call. And they... And he's... And you see him, like, constantly like, throughout the movie. Like, he's just there, right? Well, like, during the song, he then, like, leans over. He's like, in me, I could have been a contender. My father loves that line. Partly because I'm pretty sure it's from The Godfather. But it just sort of fits along with the vibe. Because, like, when you're a professional... Because basically the moral of that song is... When you are a pirate, you know... The only family you have are, is your crew. Like, you know, we share everything. You know, we love each other like family. Stuff like that. So, it's actually weird, though... Because Doug Walker, a.k.a. the Nostalgia Critic years ago, did, like, a top 11 villain songs. And he actually said the opening, which is Shiver My Timbers, uh, was on that list, right? Well, here's the thing. Shiver My Timbers isn't a villain song. I mean, it's, an, it's ominous sounding, I guess. But it's not a villain song. When You're a Professional Pirate is supposed to be the villain song. Which begs the question... Had Doug Walker actually known that? Because here's the thing. He listened to the song, but at the time he made that video, he hadn't really seen the movie yet. Um, And now I'm wondering, now that he actually has heard one of your professional pirate, and he probably would watch it again, would he would it still be on that list? That'd be interesting. Yeah, I used to remember a lot of the Doug Walker's uh, list for... Or for... Um, Whenever he did a top 11. And you guys probably are, well, why is he doing top 11s? Well, obviously, yes, it's supposed to be top 10. But his logic for why it's top 11 is because he, want, he wants to go one step beyond. So, yeah, that, that that's what he does. I mean, it makes sense when you think about it. I mean, why not go one step beyond? I mean, I mean actually, I should um also explain... If he does, like, a top 11 during the month of December, well, first of all, he loves the month of December because he loves Christmas. Seriously, like, he loves Christmas so much. Like, the fact that I'm just wearing the Santa hat is, like, child's play compared to, like, how much he loves Christmas. It's unbelievable. And funny. I mean, his, I mean... His actual persona, Doug Walker, his actual, you know, real life persona, Doug Walker, you know, he loves Christmas a lot too. But he uses the sound critic as a way to sort of, you know, entertain people, which is awesome. So, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, excuse me. So, there was a, uh, there's, there was a 
Wow, I just lost my train of thought, like right there. What was I about to do again? Oh, right. I am wearing the bear jersey today. That means I get to make my FL pick today. So let's do so. Okay, so. Okay. Ordinarily, you would think that I would just say the Ravens and not even mention the Jets, but two things right now. One, the Jets are actually doing, I mean, they're still doing terrible, and there's no way on earth they're making the, they're making the playoffs. In fact, oh, never mind. The Jets are actually in the hunt, sort of. I mean, if they beat Baltimore, it would sort of help them. I mean, I don't think they'll do it, but, yeah, I mean, it should be a decent game. I mean, even though I totally expect the Ravens to win. But here's actually something that a lot of people don't realize is that um, longtime Baltimore Ravens C.J. Mosley last year actually got traded to the Jets. So this way, this game actually does have some emotional weight to it. That That's why it should be uh, entertaining, to say the least. Although, one thing I haven't really talked about much in whenever I've been making these videos is, um, believe it or not, the Color Rush jerseys. Like, for those of you guys who don't know, on Thursday night, they do something called Color Rush jerseys where um, they take one aspect of the team's colors and they, for the most part, make that their team jersey color for that evening, right? And for the most part... They're actually pretty good. I mean, from what I've seen, the only legitimately bad one has been the Browns, but it's literally orange and brown. Like, if one, I mean, orange and brown are the sort of jersey colors where if they were complementing something else or on the same jersey as each other, that's fine. But have it be a good 90% of what you see of that team jersey, it's not really that appealing. I mean, granted, orange is much more appealing than brown for a lot of obvious reasons. But, yeah. Honestly, that's why, um, like, whenever you do see teams like Green Bay or the Browns or... Um, or uh, some other team I can't really think of right now. They always go for the darker color because, like, can, seriously, can you see the Green Bay Packers having cheese head yellow for their color rush jersey? That would not look very appealing. They would outright be made fun of if that was the case. Now, it works for my Dallas Cowboys because our colors are silver, white, and blue, so we pretty much go for white, which, you know, works with the aesthetic of whatever we're doing. Plus, you know, if you really want to be technical, white can symbolize purity, and who's more pure on the side of good than my Dallas Cowboys? So, yeah, that, I guess that kind of works. Although now I can't get the thought of what would happen if the Packers had cheese had yellow for their um for their uh uh color rush jersey. I mean they don't, thank goodness. But now it horrifies me to see like what if they did. Some color rush jerseys are actually really good. I mean, the Seahawks are pretty good. They actually go for um all um uh they go for the uh lime green. That's really good. That's a really cool one. Um, the Bills. I like the Bills ones. I mean, I love that shade of red. I mean, it's not quite unlike different from the shade of red in my Santa hat, actually. And, you know, that that's a good one. Um, what's another good color rush jersey? Um, my point is that there are legitimately some very good ones. Um, actually, you know what? The Jets aren't bad either. They're, um, they use green similar to, um, similar to this. That actually looks pretty good. 
Um, oh, the Titans and uh, the Jaguars, their color is true. I believe the Titans are like uh, sky blue, kind of. Actually, kind of like uh, my shirt right here. And uh, the uh, Jaguars are like yellow, but like not cheesehead yellow. Like this is like actual cool looking yellow. So, yeah. There's a color rush jersey for anyone. And, you know, if you're open to it, you can find other ones that you like too. So, yeah. Can't believe it took me this long to actually talk about color rush jerseys. Although, who am I kidding? Today's 7 Eleven. I'm probably going to get myself a Slurpee today. Like, favorite, share, hit that subscribe button, follow me on social media platforms, remember the notification on YouTube. I am very humble. I made this video for all of you guys to watch and enjoy for today. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Thursday. And remember, if you guys want to talk or chat, I'm always going to be here to lend an ear. And I'll always have your back. Take care and make good choices. See ya.